What's up, Pushing Lines? Your boy Jay from the K, and I'm back here with another Triple M. But before we get into this Triple M, I want to give a shout out to my wife because today is November 1st, and that mar marks uh, 20 years of marriage. And for all of you who are married, you know that marriage is not easy. It comes with its challenges and it comes with its adversities. Uh, but she and I have shouldered those things together for 20 years, and I just want to say I'm thankful for that, grateful for you, and uh, Nakupenda Miele. That's Swahili for some of y'all. All right, let's dig in. Okay, so push the line. This week we're gonna talk about winning. Again, not nah, but for real. This time we're gonna talk about winning in a different way though. We're gonna talk about winning not so much so as uh, the amount of money that we have, the amount of success that we obtain, uh, but we're going to look at winning from the standpoint of the little things, okay? So what do I mean by that? For myself, this is how counting my wins looks, okay? So I wake up in the morning, and the first thing I think is, thank God I'm alive. And then I sit up in my bed, sit up on the edge of the bed, and I think I have the activity and function of all my faculties. That's a win, okay? Then I start to think there was no emergency call overnight. Uh, all of my children are great. You know what I mean? Uh, my family is intact. Everybody's safe and feeling good, right? That's a win, all right? Then I, I get up and I start to get myself ready for work. And then I think, man, I got a job in the midst of COVID, right? Or just in general, I got a job. That's a win. And then I proceed to get ready for work. I go hop out in my car to go to work. And then I'm thinking, man, I got a car. That's a blessing in itself too, right? I got a car. That's a win, right? And so these little small things that I think about as I get my day going, and then I think about those things throughout the day. When I have those challenges and I have those adversities that come to mind, I think about those little bitty things because those are my reasons why. You know what I mean? My family is why I'm going out here and fighting, and fighting life and, and taking on the challenges and those adversities that I'm taking on. And so if I remind myself about those things on a daily, that's going to motivate me more. Okay? So there's a principle called the law of 80-20. And so what that law is, it's, it's saying to you to focus on the 80% of positive things that you have in your life or the things that you're good at versus the 20% of things that you don't have that are negative or that you're just not good at, okay? So this is played out. We can see it in school. We can see it in sports for, for children uh, because years ago, psychologists realized that uh, we had taken the wrong approach, right? So if you were my age, you remember going to a progress report meeting with your teacher and the teacher saying, hey, you're good at these things over here, but over here, this right here, you suck. <laughs> really, that's how it felt, right? But how did you feel walking away from that meeting? Did you feel better about that one thing that she talked to you about or he talked to you about? Nine times out of 10, you didn't feel great. You probably walked away from that feeling like there's no point in me trying any of this school is a wrap for me because I can't get past math or social studies or science, whatever it is for you. Right. Um, so what psychologists realize is that we're putting too much emphasis on the negative things. So it's not going to motivate this child. But what will motivate that child is saying, hey, little Johnny, you're good at art. You're good at your math. You're good at reading. Uh, focus on those things and, and you're doing a great job you're killing it you know what I'm saying go back out there and do do more right same thing on the football field or basketball court for children you see that played out there and so what happens is those kids walk away feeling a little bit more prideful they feel uh, they have a little bit more tenacity a little bit more audacity uh, they're more encouraged right and so they're going to approach things a little bit differently from that moving from that moment moving forward so that may, they may even look at that one area of their life where they really just don't do so great and start to re-strategize and to really attack that thing with a little bit more vigor. Or they may just say, you know what, I'm not good at it. So what? And move on. And they'll just continue doing those things that they know they are good at. Okay? And so for you, as an adult, you want to practice that same law of 80-20. So look at your life and analyze it and say, what are the 80% of things that I do have going on in my life that are good? those things that I am good at versus those 20% of things that I don't have and I'm not good at, okay? Focus on those things 
maximize in those areas. You can work on the 20% of things, but you don't have to beat yourself up because you got a whole 80% over here that is going good for you, okay? So use that this week. Count your wins. Motivate yourself with those wins. Motivate others with their wins. Share your wins. Allow other people to share their wins with you. Encourage yourself. Encourage others. And go out here and be a champion and get to your, to your success, okay? And so that's all we're going to have for this week on Triple M. We'll be back again next week for another Triple M. Until then, be blessed. All right, one more thing before I let y'all get out of here. Make sure you vote. Go vote this week. Your vote does count. Your voice does matter. This is your opportunity to have a seat at the table. All right? Don't let this slip through your fingers. We need everybody to go out and vote. All right? Have a good week. You guys be blessed. See you again next week.